I'm a blossom. I don't need a bad man to my robin. I'm a fish on a dotty. You can hit a room room in my robin. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's official. I'm a problem. I don't mean it this far. I'm not sorry. I'm a blossom. Yeah. I don't need a bad man to my rock. I'm a fish. So I'm just peeling off the sides, the sharp sides, just so that I can get the aloe vera flesh because that's what we need. I've done this process in like two of my videos. So yeah. So I'll be using a wig cap. It's a new wig cap. I haven't used it before in case somebody wants to come for me. So you can use a cheesecloth, you can use your seed, but I just decided to use what was close to me at the moment. So yes, I just use it to sieve out the aloe vera. It's very important that you sieve out your aloe vera because it has pieces. If you don't want to walk around with pieces in your hair, please make sure you sieve properly. So I'm just going to get my shea butter. This is how much shea butter I'm using for the container that I'm going to be storing it in. And I'm just going to pour some hot water, boiling water into a bowl because this is how we're going to melt the shea butter. This um, butter, you can do with shea butter and mango butter. My previous butters, I used both, but I ran out of mango butter. So shea butter is definitely okay if that's all you have. And then I'm adding some coconut oil. Like I said earlier, coconut oil is completely optional, but I do like to use coconut oil in my butters. I don't use it alone on my hair because it doesn't really work for me that way, but it works fantastic in my butters. I'm also going to put my aloe vera oil. I have a video on that on my channel. I will leave it linked in the description box and also in the card some vitamin E oil vitamin E oil is like an antioxidant so I like to put it in my butters eucalyptus oil a few drops or if you're using a spoon you know maybe half a spoon
after five minutes i just put this away in the fridge to solidify and this is what it looks like after that the next thing that i do is grab my aloe vera juice and add it to the butter while it's still in this solid state Then I go ahead to whisk till I'm satisfied. Guys, a huge disclaimer. I purposely made my butter this consistency because that's how I like my aloe vera butter. I have so many butter um, videos, hair butter videos that will be coming up that the butters will be a lot thicker. So you can adjust your ingredients to make it thicker if you like a really thick butter. But if you like this consistency, then... Um, yeah this is what works for my aloe vera butter this is how i like my aloe vera butter to look and the thing with shea butter is that when you keep it in a cool dry place it still gets kind of solidified but it will still be quite creamy so yes this is why the consistency is this way and i love my aloe vera butter this consistency Now guys, because we use aloe vera in this and it has water, it's important to use a preservative. So I use a preservative and I used it um, at 1%, 1% of the total weight of the product. So yes, so that it can last for a while, make sure you use a preservative. Rich, very creamy, very moisturizing guys. You need to try this. So I'm basically doing the LOC method. What I'm spraying right now is my aloe vera juice. I like to use this first because it's very, very moisturizing. I have a video on that on my channel. Please check it out. And then I'm using some of my carrots and avocado oil. I also have a video on this on my channel. I'm using this to seal in all that moisture from the aloe vera juice. Through this method, my hair stays moisturized for days. You can see how creamy the butter is. It leaves my hair moisturized for a long time, for like days. So guys, if you like this video, please make sure you click the like button. It really, really helps my channel. Please click the like button and comment and subscribe for more videos. I have more very helpful hair videos coming your way. So subscribe, tell a friend.